As you know, I may be an experienced police officer, but today I'm standing here as the father of a murder victim. Making the trip from Australia to BC, the family of Lucas Fowler is hoping for answers. We'd been discussing his trip and he communicated with us as they were leaving. What happened after that? Time will tell, I guess. One witness telling police they saw this man speaking with Lucas on the highway. Mere hours later, Lucas and his American girlfriend, China Dees, were dead. We can now confirm that China and Lucas were the victims of gun violence. A day earlier, a different story. Lucas and China seen on this security footage from a gas station in Fort Nelson looking forward to the trip ahead. Our son Lucas was having the time of his life traveling the world. He met a beautiful young lady and they teamed up. They were a great pair and they fell in love. Lucas Fowler had been living here in BC since February. He was working on a ranch near Hudson's Hope. It's said that's where he bought and fixed up the 1986 Chevy van that was found with the bodies. They left last week Saturday and um, you know, he was a very good employee. Both had uh, very good hearts and souls. There was one, wasn't a bad bone in either one of them. They wouldn't hurt a fly. So it's, uh, it's quite the shock. Police now hoping anyone who might have seen something or for the man in the sketch to come forward. We share the concerns that are being raised given the tragic and unusual nature of these two, two investigations that we have underway. We would like to stress the importance of heightened vigilance and awareness for anybody traveling in and around the area. We encourage people to camp in known or established areas and locations. Travis Fortnum, CJDC-TV News.